Hallelujah. Amen to that. What's up Eurovision people, it's Sean Zez over here and I will be reacting to the 2021 national final and official songs of Eurovision. Tonight, Slovenia released a song that Anna Soklic would be performing at Eurovision and it's called Amen. 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 Isn't Amen the song title for Austria's song? I think. So yeah, Anna Soklic will be singing Amen and I'm nervous about this because last year, Voda was not a song that I initially liked, but it was a complete grower. I think it was my grower for 2020. So I'm nervous. And I did read that this is gonna be in English and it's not gonna be about it. So who knows? Anyways, let's just jump straight to it and react. However, before, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you did like this video, please put a thumbs up. Amen, hallelujah. Oh, ghosts. Very deep vocal. It almost sounds masculine. It's something like share. Share. Believe. And this isn't a video, this is a performance. A live performance. It's taking long. You can tell the sun, Amen. Wow. All right, Slovenia. But this isn't a live performance, but Jesus Christ. Hey child, the fear will never go away. Might as well they are not playing this year. Learn no, this isn't a live performance, but it's okay. Again. She's really enjoying this song and her dress. Fire. Uh, I didn't like that little play on the melody, yeah? I think that's a bit dangerous. I really like this bass sort of background percussion that just engulfs the start of the chorus. It's fantastic. Gospel? El Diablo. Oh, it's not that. No, this is... This must be a reprise. Wow, Slovenia, they are not messing around this year. This has completely taken me by surprise. I mean, this was just... This completely came out of left field for me. And I'll tell you why. When I heard the song is gonna be in English, and it's not a ballad, 
and I mean Anna Sokovic, what can we expect if it's not a ballad? And I think, I'm not sure, I think it was produced in Sweden. So immediately, as a Eurovision hardcore fan, I was expecting a Melody Festival and style song, which comes maybe fifth in the semi-final and never is never heard again. And yes, we are wrong to think that because it, not every song that's produced in Sweden would sound like a Melody Festival and song. So I thought I, I thought about that, but no, no, I don't know who the songwriters are, but this is good. There are some things I would change. I mean, I don't like the time when they played with the melody before during the bridge actually i think that just turns it turns me off certainly and i'm not sure about other people but when you when you play with the melody it's like mm, no and i think it has the same problems as voda in the sense that the verses are significantly weaker than the chorus and when that happens i mean i just switch off but then what this song has is the the really loud percussion that just draws you in like even if you're trying to doze off you're just awake awoken by the by the loud percussion that that introduces the chorus so that's really good i don't think in, the, in this problem is not as alarming as it was in voda but voda had a better orchestration in my opinion i mean it was my grower of 2020 because the orchestra in that song was so beautiful and i'm not saying it's not in this one but i personally really liked voda <laughs> And I'm not yet in a position to compare the two because I think they're both good. But may what I will say about this one is um, Anna Soklich, uh, her Anna so Anna's voice, Anna Soklich, Anna's voice sounds really deep and really masculine and really sure like. And I'm not sure if that's the kind of timber that she wants to put on the song so in that sense maybe and i may be wrong but maybe this may not be the best song for her register she sings the nuts out of it but we didn't hear it live so i like it it's a bit preachy yes but i like it predictions semi-final one i've said this twice or three times on my videos already semi-final one is the tougher semi so it's gonna take some real real performance and some real staging to really elevate any song really so it's not it's not a question of slovenia but any song needs every song needs to just up its game slovenia wasn't a favorite to qualify last year and with this song i think definitely there is potential for it to be a game changer but we need to see. I mean, I judged Voda when there were 41 songs out of 41. And I'm judging Amen when there are 14 songs out of 41. So we need to we need to see what's going to happen. And I need to digest this even further. I mean, this is the first time I heard the song. And I want to hear it again because I'm not even sure what, what to think. But I like it. It's a good effort from Slovenia. Hvala Slovensko. And yeah, well done. Anyways, that was my two cents on Anna Soklic's song, Amen. And I really liked it. If you did like this video, please put a thumbs up and tell me in the comments, speak to me there, if you agree with me or if you disagree, it's okay to disagree. We all have opinions, we all have our views. And I don't mean to offend anyone when I say I like or I don't like what I see, but it's just my opinion and it's just what I think. So if you guys think differently, it's fine let's have a conversation down here in the comment thank you for watching feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you want to see more of me follow me on instagram thank you so much and i'll see you later